this one here is uh, one of the offspring that was born here. Um, And uh, I'm sure you've noticed on the videos uh, thus far, on the video that, thus far, that we have uh, a couple of people assisting Jim with holding the snake. And the reason for that is because these guys are so long, and they're also strong, but when they're that long, they could easily wrap their tail around his leg or even like up around his arms or head. And that can, you know, obviously be distracting, but also it can give the snake leverage that it could use to potentially pull back out of the grip that Jim has. So that's a safety thing where we have people assisting with that. Most of the time, Jim prefers to extract without uh, assistance on the snake because he wants to make sure that he's not putting anyone else at risk. But with these, it's kind of a necessity to do so. This one here is also one of our offspring. If any of you have also seen the videos of me training, uh, this snake is number seven, which is the one I consider to be the furthest along with the training. I think right there you guys can see each time the venom is pulsing out. And remember, even though it can look like Jim is squeezing on the snake's head, he's following the contractions of the muscles that the snake itself is making. It's impossible to force venom out of a king cobra. Um, they're so strong. The snake has to decide. Sometimes rubbing it can encourage it a little bit, and it can also hold the glands in a more open position. But. Is certainly not forcing it. Uh, no. Oh, nope, he just gave some just right then. Right as I was saying no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. You can get it. This is one of the older snakes we have. This happens to be my favorite one. Snake that really is not that interested in biting the funnel.
but he is giving some venom. You can kind of see it running down there. Once he decided to bite. Still giving. The venom looks kind of dark on the camera, but it's, I think that's an artifact of the green wall being behind it. It's not quite that dark in real life. He's given about two cc's so far. You're gonna have to change them. Okay. So this one is the one I affectionately call Crazy Pants. As you can see his behavior is a little bit different. Uh, he's also just looking for food too. <laughs> he's. This snake just tends to be a lot more reactive than the others. Uh, pretty much every time we work with him. Sometimes he's a little bit calmer. Okay. You can see he's ready to go there. This one is also a little bit older, but we don't know the exact age of it. Not sure he wants to let go. 